This video is on section 3.6, Negations of Conditional Statements and De Morgan's Laws. This will take several videos to get through section 3.6, so this is actually part one. The negation of the conditional is this conjunction. The negation of this conditional is this conjunction. It may sound kind of odd that the negation of a conditional actually turns into a conjunction, but that's what it is. It can be written symbolically as a negation of parentheses, the if-then, is equivalent to, remember the three lines make up equivalent, it's equivalent to P and not Q. Now I'm going to prove that these two statements are equivalent the way we showed in several last videos, and that is to do a truth table. So we know P is T, T, F, F, Q is T, F, T, F, and we know for the conditional, the only time the conditional is false is if the premise is true and the consequent is false. So this is our false and these are true. So this is the result I get from inside the parentheses. But I need to negate what's inside the parentheses. So I end up with false, true, false, false. So that's my resultant column for the left side. The right side, P is T, T, F, F, Q, this is not Q, so not Q will go false, true, false, true. This is the only time a conjunction, which is an AND statement, is true, is if both statements are true, the rest of these are false. And there you go, these are the same. So these two statements are equivalent. Now this I think it's very helpful to just kind of memorize or write down on your cards. It's just in words to form the negation of a conditional statement. Leave the antecedent unchanged. Change the if then to and and negate the consequent. It may sound complicated, but it really is not. To form the negation of this conditional, you keep this part the same. See it stayed P. We change the conditional to and and we negate the consequent. If it is sunny outside, then I go to the beach. One way to negate this is to put a, it is not true that, in front of it. It is not true that, if it is sunny outside, then I go to the beach. Well, using this idea down here and this, another way to do it is to leave the antecedent unchanged. So, it is sunny outside, I left it unchanged, change the then to and, and then negate this. I go to the beach becomes I did not go to the beach. So here's our negation. It is sunny outside and I did not go to the beach. De Morgan's laws we have seen before in chapter 2. We use them for set theory. So from sets we knew A intersect B not became A not union with B not. Well, same idea for logic, but, you know, we use P's and Q's and we use a little different symbol. So the negation of P and Q becomes not P or not Q. The way I've always thought about this is kind of like distributive property. If I'm going to distribute this negation through here, P becomes not P. Change and to or and distribute the negative to the Q. Not P or not Q. So how are we going to prove it? The same way we prove all these other things with a truth table. So P is T, T, F, F. Q is T, F, T, F. If I want to put those together with the conjunction AND, the only time AND is true is if both of these are true, so the rest of these are false. But I need the negation of the red, which becomes this column, false, true, true, true. So that is my resultant column for the left side. The right side, not P, will go false, false, true, true. Not Q will go false, true, false, true. And now we are looking at OR. The only time an OR statement is false is if both, st both simple statements are false. So that's false. The rest of these are true. And look at the two circled columns. They are the same, and we have proven that De Morgan's Law works. Now there's another version of it, and that is to start with an OR. So the negation of an OR statement becomes not P and not Q. And we will prove it the same way. P is T, T, F, F. Q 
is T, F, T, F. We are doing an OR statement to begin with here. The only time an OR statement is false is if both simple statements are false. So the rest of these are true. But we need to negate that blue. So this all becomes false, 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 true. Working the other side, not P is false, false, true, true. And by the way, how do I know not P is false, false, true, true? Well, here's P sitting here right there. So negate those becomes false, false, true, true. Same thing for Q. Here's the Q sitting right here. I can negate those becomes false, true, false, true. And I want to do the conjunction of those. And the only time a conjunction is true is if both simple statements are true. So this is a true. The rest of these have to be false. And you can see our result column from the left and our result column from the right are the same. Therefore, De Morgan's Law works. Now, you're going to do several problems, Math Excel as well as on this video. And to do those, you need to remember these equivalent statements. We just learned this one. The negation of the conditional becomes a conjunction. This is going to be used a fair amount. Remember, this is the contrapositive, which we have seen before. To do the contrapositive, remember, you switch and negate. So the Q became not Q, the P became not P, but we switched the order. It is still a conditional. And then these last two are De Morgan's Laws. And keep in mind in words, to form the negation of a conditional statement, leave the antecedent unchanged, change the if then to and, and negate the consequent. That is in words, that statement that we just learned. So we want to write the negation of the conditional statement. If it is purple, then it is not a cucumber. Now I can take this and put it into P's and Q's and then bring it back to this. But if you use this, I don't think we need to do that. To form the negation of this conditional, yes, it is a conditional because it says if then, leave the antecedent unchanged. All right, the antecedent is it is purple. It's no longer if, it is purple change the if then to and, so get rid of this and write and, but then we need to negate the consequent. All of this is the consequent. It already has not in it. To negate that, we take not out of there. And then let's see what this is. It says it is purple and it is a cucumber. It is purple and it is a cucumber. And be careful when you're doing these because if you're going too fast, you don't pay attention to a not or you don't pay attention to the difference between or and and. Also, some have commas and some don't, so look carefully. Same idea here. It is a conditional. To form the negation of the conditional, I'm doing these steps. Leave the antecedent unchanged. He is not in history class. We are changing the if then to and. We take the consequent and we have to put a not in there. He is not in history class and he does not study abroad. He is not in history class and he does not study abroad. You know, when you're doing these, you can automatically rule out any of them that start with if because we're changing the if then to an and, and then there's only two we have to look at. And we need to look carefully. He is not in history class because the original antecedent was he is not, and we don't change that. Now this one starts out in symbolic form. We could use this and kind of try to translate and substitute, but I still like this. Leave the antecedent unchanged. The antecedent is the P. Drop the if then and go with and. Negate the consequent. The consequent is already negated, so if you're going to negate a negate, it's going to go back to Q. So this is just simply P and Q. Now this is asking us to use De Morgan's Laws. So De Morgan's Laws were these two right here. This says, it is not true that, remember when we use it is not true that, we're talking about translating with parentheses. So it is not true that the baby boy and the baby girl are both hungry. Now before I do this, I'd really rather take this statement here and just translate it a little bit so that I have clearly two separate P and Q's. So I still have that. It is not true that the baby boy is hungry and the baby girl is hungry. So there's my P, there's my Q. So this statement right here that I need to negate is not P and Q. 
And what does De Morgan say about negating P and Q? It becomes, it is equivalent to, remember the three, not P or not Q. Now that was in symbols. I need to take those symbols and go back to the words. Now what was P? Was the baby boy is hungry. This is not P. So the baby boy is not hungry or the baby girl is not hungry. Well, I have an and right here. Forget that one. Not if then. So what I really have to look at carefully are these two that actually have the word or. So the baby boy is not hungry or the baby girl is not hungry. And there we go. Similar, I've already written this out for us. It is not the case. Now, it is not the case that is what we just looked at a second ago where it says it is not true that. So it is not the case and it is not true are the same things. It says you are asleep or you are in class. So it is not the case that you are asleep or you are in class. The only reason I rewrote this one is so that I had some room down here to do the work. It is not the case, there's my tilde, that you are asleep or you are in class. So you are asleep or you are in class. De Morgan's tells me if I'm going to negate in front of parentheses, I negate the P, I change the OR to AND, I negate the Q. So I'm looking at not P and not Q. Going back to words, not P is you are not asleep and you are not in class. Go back to your multiple choice. Can't have the if, so you are not asleep or, forget that, you are not asleep and you are not in class, and that's it. Just be careful when you're doing these. Again, look how close that is. You are asleep and you are not in class. So that little not makes a difference. So read carefully before you make your choice. Write the negation of this following statement. I'm going to Las Vegas or Michigan. I'm going to Las Vegas or Michigan. Las Vegas is P, Michigan is Q, so we're just looking at P or Q. But I want the negation of that. To negate that, it becomes not P and not Q. So I'm not going to Vegas and I'm not going to Michigan. I'm not going to Vegas or, nope. I'm going to Vegas, nope. I'm going to neither Las Vegas or Michigan. That sounds pretty good, but let's just go here. I'm going to Vegas and not to Michigan. Not good. Now let's talk about this neither nor. Neither nor is another one of those that is equivalent to just plain old and. So saying I'm going to neither Las Vegas nor Michigan is equivalent to saying I'm not going to Vegas and I'm not going to Michigan.